Will hunting. Taste his choice moment between guys. <laughs> this is really nice. You got a thing for swans? Is this like a fetish? It's something like maybe we need to devote some time to. I thought about what you said to me the other day about my painting. Huh. I stayed up half the night thinking about it. Something occurred to me. I fell into a deep, peaceful sleep and I haven't thought about you since. You know what occurred to me? No. You're just a kid. You don't have the faintest idea of what you're talking about. Why, thank you. It's all right. You've never been out of Boston. Nope. So if I asked you about art, you'd probably give me the skinny on every art book ever written. Michelangelo. You know a lot about him. Life's work, political aspirations, him and the Pope. Sexual orientation, the whole works, right? I bet you can't tell me what it smells like in the Sistine Chapel. You never actually stood there and looked up at that beautiful ceiling. Seen that. If I ask you about women, you'd probably give me a silver, say your personal favorites. You may have even been laid a few times. You can't tell me what it feels like to wake up next to a woman and feel truly happy. You're a tough kid. When I ask you about war, you'd probably uh, throw Shakespeare at me, right? Once more into the breach, dear friends. But you've never been near one. You've never held your best friend's head in your lap and watch him gasp his last breath looking to you for help. I ask you about love, you'd probably quote me a sonnet. But you've never looked at a woman and been totally vulnerable. Known someone that could level you with her eyes. Feeling like God put an angel on earth just for you. Who could rescue you from the depths of hell. And you wouldn't know what it's like to be her angel. To have that love for her be there forever. Through anything through cancer and you would know about sleeping sitting up in a hospital room for two months holding her hand because the doctors could see in your eyes that the terms visiting hours don't apply to you you don't know about real loss because that only occurs when you love something more than you love yourself I doubt you've ever dared to love anybody that much I look at you I don't see an intelligent, confident man. I see a cocky, scared, shitless kid. But you're a genius, Will. No one denies that. No one could possibly understand the depths of you. But you presume to know everything about me because you saw a painting of mine. You ripped my fucking life apart. You're an orphan, right? Do you think I'd know the first thing about how hard your life has been? How you feel? Who you are? Because I read Oliver Twist. Does that encapsulate you? Personally, I don't give a shit about all that. Because you know what? I can't learn anything from you. I can't read in some fucking book. Unless you want to talk about you. Who you are. And I'm fascinated. I'm in. But you don't want to do that, do you, sport? You're terrified of what you might say. You move, Chief. I'm sorry. Great one. Yeah. Very, so good. Very similar to the Burgess Meredith, you know, kind of moment. Yeah. Of like, are you in or are you out? Right. This, you know, define like what we're, what we're going to do, what we're going to, our goals are. Yeah. Going to sum up the relationship between the two characters. Right. Mentor, mentee. Yeah. 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 And the age gap. 
Right. I come across kids like that when I coach. Mm-hmm. I got a kid that I, I coach. Uh, I used to coach recently out here in LA. Who's like that? Thinks he knows everything. Right. And it's like, nah. What's the difference? It's a, there's a difference between knowledge and experience. Oh yeah, that's what he's talking about. And that's like, real knowledge. Yeah. It's like, yeah, you you sure you can you know read all that stuff in the book, but you know, have you actually experienced being in the Sistine Chapel? Yeah. You know, the experience yeah. of being there, not just the smell, but right. Yeah. You see that a lot with like kids nowadays. It's like, because for some reason, nobody tells a kid to shut the fuck up. (laughs) I don't know why. Like, I was like, we're like, the way that I grew up, like, adults were always telling kids, shut the fuck up. Not really. (laughs) Yeah. Just like, you don't talk when we're talking. Mm -hmm. And you're like, oh, you know, and then you don't want to be that kid that is always getting yelled at. Right. So you you stop being a jackass, right? And you listen, right? But out here, for some reason, kids get to just say whatever, whenever, and to whoever. I guess adults, <laughs> like adults, like dude, the things that that kids say to me when I'm training them as their as their coach, yeah. Out here, yeah, I would never even have dreamed to have said like what, like just to think. That my coach and I are on the same level as pals. <laughs> that 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 that's just not that was inconceivable to me. There's no mentor mentee. No, because I had respect for them. Mm-hmm. Because I respected my parents. Mm-hmm. When you don't when you don't have that respect for your parents, what adult are you going to respect? You know what I mean? Like yeah. it, it all starts with the respect of your parents. Mm-hmm. Now, if you now the one thing that can kind of change that for a kid is having a coach that forces them to respect them. You know what I mean? By mm-hmm. like pushing them and like, oh, you're gonna talk, you got to run. There's punishment. You want to stay on the team and you want to talk. There's punishment for that, right? Right. Or you can quit. Right. You know, and give up and be too weak. Oh, right. well, I'm not weak. All well, right, it's, it's we'll, all, sh- we'll prove it. Yeah, so like, you have to yeah. prove yourself to this coach right. in a way that you don't have to to your parents because your parents are going to love you no matter what. Right. And and kids take advantage of that. And it's a very hard thing to like recalibrate with it, with a, a young kid as a coach. But out here, the the parents get mad at you for doing what they should have done right. and what they're actually paying you to do, right. which is teach that kid respect. Right. And discipline. Right. But now your hands are tied behind your back hmm. because they want you to coach the way they parent them. Hmm. And it doesn't work. No, I guess not. No. But like that's, I mean, this is, that's a great scene. Like, because he is a cocky kid and thinks mm-hmm. he knows everything. He's just a smart, he's smart, but yeah. he doesn't actually know. Right. Because there's some things you can only know by experience, like de- what devotion is, what dedication is, yeah. what, um, and that takes time. Yeah, respect. Yeah. Those experiences, building character. It's all about bu- building character, and and that's all built with time. Yeah. Like the like, think about this word discipline. Mm-hmm. When you were sixteen, does your understanding of the word discipline even like barely compare to what you think of it as now? Right. Like your relationship with that concept, with that character trait, has grown. Hopefully. <laughs> well, I'm mean, love. Yeah. Let's yeah. think about love. Yeah. You know, or you know, any any type of character trait mm-hmm. or action uh, or virtue. Mm-hmm. When you're 16, it's not the same as what it is now. If it is, right. problem. It was responsibility too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it takes humility. Yeah, and that's what kids don't have. Right. You know, especially a kid like you know uh, Matt Damon's character in this. He has no humility. Right. He's just cocksure. Well, also, he's sort of paralyzed into inaction because he does have this great gift, but he doesn't know how to use it. And he's also afraid of like the repercussions of using it. Yeah. Like all the all the possibilities that of things that that might happen. Yeah. If he does, you know, makes this choice versus that choice. Yeah. And so he'd rather just like make fun of and belittle. Right. Other people. Yeah. Not make a choice. Yeah. And just kind of, yeah, just sit back and. I'm just going to sit back and be smarter than everyone. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hurt people, hurt people. 